Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Noreen Aguirre and um, I'm in the process of sharing you, with you guys dreams I believe the Lord has given me. And today I'm still on dream 20 because um, one of the dreams was in Romans. So this is Romans part two. So one dream that he had gave me before was just, um, I heard Romans over and over as I was sleeping. So I got up and I just started reading the book of Romans for some reason. He, you know, I'm going through the book of Romans and I'm sharing with you what he has placed in my heart. So today we're going to start reading um, Romans 3, 21, 22. Okay, so that's Romans 3, 21, 22. And excuse the noise um, outside and there's a bad storm coming. So hopefully I'm able to record this before it starts raining. Um, so here we go. Um, the name of this this dream it's Romans part 2 but the name of this one is dead to sin and alive in Christ okay so dead to sin and alive in Christ and so let's go on and read Romans 3 21 says but now God has shown us a way to be made right with him without keeping the requirements of the law as was promised in the writings of Moses and the prophets long ago we are made right with God by placing our faith in Jesus Christ. And this is true for everyone who believes, no matter who we are. For everyone has sinned, we all fallen short of God's glorious standards. Yet God, with, all, with unserved kindness, declares that we are righteous. He did this through Christ Jesus when he freed us from the penalty for our sins. For God presented Jesus the sacrifice for sins. People are made right with God when we believe that Jesus sacrificed his life, shedding his blood. This sacrifice shows that God was being fair when he held back and did not punish those who sinned in times past. For he was looking ahead and including them in what he would do in the present time. God did this to demonstrate his righteousness for he himself is fair and just and he declares sinners to be right in his sight when they believe in Jesus amen so here we're going over two two important topics and I'm gonna read I'm gonna try to do three important topics the first one is faith the second one is saved, and the third one is baptism okay so the first one is um, faith which um, I'm gonna highlight the first in the first um, chapter that I read it says we are made right with God by placing our faith in Jesus Christ okay and this is true for everyone who believes no matter who we are amen the second one I'm gonna repeat it is going over save it says um, and that you can find that in Romans 3 25 it says um, going down a little bit it says God it says People are made right with God when they believe that Jesus sacrificed his life, shedding his blood. This sacrifice shows that God was being fair. Okay, so right there is saying that you have to believe that Jesus died for you on the cross, okay? And then now I'm going to go and share with you. Let's see, we're going to go to page, to Romans 6, 1 through 14, okay? I'm going to read Romans 6, 1 through 14. And it reads, so this is pretty much is explaining where sin is broken. The power of sin is broken. It says, well then, should we keep on sinning so that God can show us more and more of his wonderful grace? Of course not. Since we have died to sin, how can we continue li to live in it? Or have you forgotten that when we joined with Christ Jesus in baptism, we joined him in his death. For we died and were buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also may live new lives. Since we have been united with him in death, we will also be raised to life as he in him. Since we have been united with him, his death, we will also be raised to life as he was. We know that our old sinful selves were crucified when Christ, when Christ 
with Christ so that sin might lose power in our lives. We are no longer slaves to sin for when we died with Christ, we were set free from the power of sin. And since we died with Christ, we, we know, sorry, it's raining guys. For when we died with Christ, we were set free from the power of sin. And since we died with Christ, we know we will also live with him. We are sure of this because Christ was raised from the dead and he will never die again. Death no longer has any power over him. When he died, he died once to break the power of sin. But now that he lives, he lives for the glory of God. So you also should consider yourselves to be dead. The power of sin dead to the power of sin and alive to God through Christ Jesus amen so you see when we before we give ourselves to God we were all dead before we became Christians we were all dead and not physically dead um, spiritually dead this means that it's a person that hasn't experienced a new life in Christ Jesus hasn't experienced you know God's salvation <laughs> And this, and this also means that this person, for this person is impossible for this person to produce spiritual fruit, which shows the signs of, of life, okay? So when we give our lives to Jesus, it's telling us that sin's loss is power. You know, sin has no power over us. Okay, so we're, we're alive again, we're born again, we gave our lives to God. But it also means when we do that, we can't continue living our lives the way we used to live. We can't continue living our lives in sin. And I want you to, I want to go over Romans 6, 20 through 23, where it says, When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the obligation to do right. And what was the result? You now, you are now ashamed of the things you used to do. Things that ended up in eternal doom. But now you are free from the power of sin and have become slaves to God. Now you to God. Now you do the things that lead to holiness and results in eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life, Jesus. Amen. To Christ our Lord. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm sorry it was rushed. It's raining out here. Before I, like, before I leave, I want to do the salvation prayer. Just bow your heads with me at this moment. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for this life you've given me, Father God. I ask that you forgive me, Lord, for anything I said or done or even thought of, Father God. I ask that you help me, Father God, live my life according to your will, your purpose, Father God. I ask that you give me the desires of your heart, Father God, that everything I do is to please you, Father God. Father God, I just ask that you can take control of my my life in Jesus mighty name I pray thanks you guys for tuning in until next Tuesday guys have a blessed one God bless bye bye